Alrighty, I've not done one of these in a while. Um, it's been just really busy. We we're trying to finish out the app and the website and stuff. Um, but one thing that did happen is I booked a wedding for this weekend here in like two or three days. Uh, so I'm just getting prepared for that. Got a new toy. Finally got myself a Pelican because I am tired of carrying around my 50 pound backpack. Um, so I have a few things I think that I can show you now and then we'll catch up here in a minute. Uh, moving forward for the trip because I'm going to take you on the Ashland trip. That's going to be fun. But quick recap, go. I made the terrible mistake of getting back into Minecraft and I have to build a bridge that's about 800 blocks away from where I normally reside for a project. Um, at least I learned to play smarter, not harder. Auto selecting the item I want, dragging me along, and pre And now back the other way with the rail cart. The rest of my house. Yeah, baby. Ha <laughs> ha! It's not even 8 a.m. I have to go, of course. What's up, vlog? Surprise! Surprise! So, my Apple card came in the mail today. Look how fancy this is though. Like, hang on, I'm gonna do a screen record. Look how fancy activating this card is. Just wait, I'm doing a lot of this. It's great, just wait, just, just wait. To give context what's about to happen, to activate your card, wake and hold iPhone here. Watch, this is crazy. And that's it, it's activated and ready. This is like, Where's, where's metal? Where's metal? This is heavy. This is metal. Like, metal. This thing is so fancy. Look at that. So fancy. Goldman and Sachs High Roller Club, am I right? <laughs> just kidding. It doesn't have that much credit on it. I'm just now establishing credit. And if you want one of these deals, super dope. Super dope. Thank you, Apple. Thank you, Goldman and Sachs and MasterCard and just whoever it took. Because it's Apple, obviously I'm going to fanboy it. And it's a card. It's a credit card by Apple. And welcome back. Same thing as always. I had the same video. I literally haven't even moved. So you saw the recap. I think it was like not much. Um, so you saw that. Now I want to show you a few toys I got leading into Ashland that I'm really excited about. I'm very sleepy, so I'm trying to like... But uh, yeah, very tired. Uh, yeah, let's show you the toys. All right, I guess that will work. You're just kind of like on a tripod on my TV um, but that'll have to work for now. So, like I said a second ago, I hope you can't hear this fan. So you can't hear the fan, so that's good. I was worried about that for a second. Um, this is basically, you know, there's a ton of videos on what's in my gear bag and all that stuff. So there's really absolutely no reason to remake those videos. All this is, is showing you what I got. I'm super happy about it. This is how big it is. It's pretty much the same size as any other normal, just, um, you know, carry on bag. And I got the insert dividers. So I'll be able to, you know, pack all my cameras in. And then I actually got a top divider for this deal. Spin around so you can see what I'm talking about. So you've got all the dividers here. So obviously cameras, this will pull out. And um, I have the top divider, which is in this box. So it's just like a bunch of, baggies and stuff for batteries and lens caps and SD cards and all those good things. So ooh, this felt I feel like this is going to keep happening. 
need a better solution for this. But yeah, so I'm gonna work on this and uh, bring you back in a minute. All right, so the first thing I did, which I think was a really big help, was I pre-planned where I wanted everything to go. So like under here, I have my 70 to 200. Um, one of my mics, another mic. I've actually, I've stacked two lenses here, my 18 to 35 recorder, two bodies, you know, drone, controller, battery, and then my primary camera. Um, I pulled all the stuffing out and then just kind of divided everything in sections where it would go after the padding is in so that I know if it's going to fit because I was actually pretty, uh, I was pretty unimpressed with the size at first, but a lot more fits in than I thought just because from a size comparison, because this is so much wider and obviously the foam's not in yet, so still nervous. The Trek pack I feel like would definitely fit. These foam is about to get hairy, but um, yeah, we're gonna see what happens, but it looks like so far it's gonna fit, so I'm gonna try it. But that's one thing if you're doing your own camera cases, I don't know how many camera people I have in, you know, watch my videos, but just pre put everything in here and just try to get a visual of how you want, you know, know where your lines are at. So obviously there's a line here, a line that goes all the way, pretty much just down from here. So just kind of have that pre-planned out so you know how to prepare and go from there. So I'm gonna keep going. All right, it took me about an hour, but I finally, finally figured it out. It's gorgeous. So starting at the top, you have ND filters, just a little, you know, zipper bag of ND filters and then some uh, lens cleaners. In here, you have all the GH5 batteries. Uh, in here is like the mics. So we've got four mics in here. The girls drew on my hand. Um, then you've got just some more cables, assortment cables of like microphones, HDMI cables and whatnot. Then the XLRs coming out of the recorder into the microphones. Then you've got the microphones. And then under the microphones is the Mavic, Mavic extra battery and the controller. Then you've got two GH5 bases, a lens, another hidden lens, another lens, another lens, another lens, and then you know a C cards, microphone, 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 GH5 with a primary lens, and that is the full case rundown. The bummer is the backpack, I'm not exactly one for minimalism. The backpack doesn't hold like I just have a bad a bag of just like assortment of things and then just extra plates. Uh, you know, Allen wrenches and stuff. And all of this doesn't really have a place in this bag, but this is really all that didn't make it, which is pretty impressive considering I very, very rarely use any of it. The biggest bummer is that the battery chargers won't fit. Um, but for this particular wedding, I'm just second shooting it anyway. So I can have like a secondary backpack and just pretty much come pre-charged and I shouldn't use everything. And then my GoPro and Osmo are usually in my uh, backpack. I also found my other GoPro in this whole process. So sweet. And then this little light also, um, it's pretty dope little light. That is completely bed. So that's embarrassing, but it's an amazing little light. So that I'm seeing if I can find you a home, but if not, you know, just secondary little, little secondary bag that some other just things can go in as just a little support bag with the rest of the case. That's the case rundown. Right, first trip with the Pelican. My back is thriving. Another 5 a.m. morning. Yo. Hey. Yo. It is 8.45. It is 5 freaking 30. Our I'll time. I'll day. Get the doctor away. It's so early. Day two of being up way too freaking early. Day three for me. Day three, day two-ish for me. Let's go to bed. We're ready to go to bed. <laughs> Alrighty. This is my kind of accommodations. Golf carts. Location one is done. It's funny, I think she's also vlogging up there. Location one is done. Uh, we were shooting at the golf course, got some sick drone footage. And uh, I think we're gonna go do some breakfast and stuff. And then, I think she's vlogging while I'm vlogging. Um, got some sick drone footage, and now we're gonna go probably do breakfast because we've not really eaten. And then from there we'll do, we'll do something. Look how gorgeous this is. Oh my God. It looks like Ireland. It does. It makes me miss the Midwest. 
you don't get this in California. I do not no. miss the Midwest. I cannot you agree with that. <laughs> Best but, wedding photographer ever. I would say hire him for video, but hire me for video. <laughs> and we'll tag team it. Tag and we'll tag exactly. team it. And then you'll get both of us. Reason 736 why I hate Asheville. After no one picking me up from the airport, having 17 Ubers canceling, my flight canceled tomorrow. Huh? Is this a review? On my vlog. Oh. It's a review of Asheville for the people of YouTube. So everybody can freaking know Asheville sucks. Yeah, so Ubers canceled me. That's not my card. Ubers canceled me. My flight canceled me. I have to go to a whole freaking other town to get out of this town. I'm over it. I will never come to Asheville again. I'm done. If you live in Asheville, I'm sorry, but... Your city sucks. All right, now at the Greensville airport, hopefully headed home, headed to security. Um, stopping in DFW for an hour and then LAX. I'm ready to go. Oh, it's good to be home.